what are emails that need customer research and what are emails that don't need customer research that people should be putting in and are is there a difference or do they all need customer research i think that because the person receiving the email is a customer or a potential customer that the research is relevant no matter what type of email it is one of the reasons that i had to always kind of push on this research piece is because it doesn't have a directly attributable ROI. You can't sure. point to the hours spent doing customer research and see any kind of graphs that show you which direction that research made things go. Um, an email, once it's written and sent, you can see direct results. You see how much revenue it made, how many click throughs, how many conversions. You see all of that in numbers um, and, you know, great tools like Clavio show you those things. There isn't a great tool and it's not any tool's fault. There's no way to quantitatively measure customer research, the impact that it has on your business. But it even, I mean, I last year, I, I say last year, and I think I mean 2019 because 2020 just didn't exist. Um, but in I think it was last year, 2019, that I uh, I wrote a, a transactional email guide. Uh, it's still on my website. It's actually my pinned tweet on, on Twitter. And my push in that guide is to personalize your transactional emails more. So even the emails that are kind of wrote or you would think are all the same or something that this quote, the system sends like, oh, well, we have our marketing emails, but then we have all these other emails that the system sends. Well, the system represents your brand, no matter what, like there, nobody, your customers don't actually know the difference between what is being sent through Shopify <laughs> no, and what's don't. being sent through Klaviyo. <laughs> they don't. No. And quite often we do all this work on our marketing emails and we apply our brand and our voice and all those things. And then we never touch the transactional emails. And every Shopify transactional email looks exactly the same. Every single one, it's different products and different logo on it. But imagine the impact that your brand could have if it looked a little bit different from every other receipt that people get in their inbox, especially right now and over the last year where everything is online. That's the only way people are shopping. And so there's a lot of receipts in the inbox and you have a major opportunity to stand out when you apply your customer's words and uh, feedback to your transactional emails. So even transactional emails, I think, need customer research. 